Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now I know it's the summer right now and the one thing different about summer that everyone can agree is that it's very very hot, right? Uh, it's not cold, it's very hot. Now how do we know how hot is it, right? And that is why we have to measure how hot it is. Is it a little bit hot or is it very hot? We need a number, okay? So that means we are measuring. So heating up and cooling down. It's getting hotter and it's getting colder. Why is measuring temperature important? Well, we measure temperature to check the weather. Is it raining? Is it snowing? For baking cookies and cakes and cooking food, setting the air conditioner, and even for when we get sick. When we are sick, we uh, measure our temperature. Is it how many degrees is it, right? So in Korea, we use the Celsius scale to see how hot or how cold something is. So Celsius means the number. So if it is very hot, then it is 30 degrees Celsius. If it's very cold, then it is you know, zero degrees Celsius. Celsius is talking about the temperature, how hot the, weather, uh, the air is. So the, using a thermometer, thermometer is the tool that has the numbers and it has the red pillars. The red pillar goes up and goes down the scale as the temperature changes. So on the thermometer, the hotter it is, the higher the pillar goes up, right? The red pillar. And if it's cold, then where does it go? Well, the pillar goes back down again. So 30 um, goes up 38 degrees. Now things are heating up. So 38 degrees Celsius. Is that very hot or is that very cold? Well, it's about the same temperature as our body. So it's pretty hot. It's not cold. All right, we have three review questions here. A, we measure, see how much blank to check the temperature. So again, this little tool here, that is the thermometer, right? And these numbers, it is telling us the temperature. Temperature is talking about the number of how hot or cold something is, okay? We say, what is the temperature? Oh, the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. B, Koreans use the blank scale to see the temperature. We see here we have one that says C and one that says F. Well, only America and a few other countries use the F or Fahrenheit numbers, but Korea and most of the world, like literally all of the world except for America and a few countries use Celsius. So we're going to say Koreans use the Celsius scale to see the temperature, okay? This number right here. See, the red blank goes up when the weather gets hotter. So as the weather is getting hotter, this red pillar here is going to go up like this. So that's what we call a red pillar. The red pillar is the sort of alcohol in the middle. And when it gets hot, the pillar goes up. When it gets cold, the pillar goes down again. All right, we have three review grammar questions here. A, measuring temperature, blank, important. All right, so here we have our normal v, B verbs. And we have is, are, and be, all right? So are is used for when there are many subjects. There are plural subjects, right? So if we have cats, then we say cats are, or dogs are, many dogs are, right? For be, we need a main verb. So we can say, I want, that want is the main verb, I want, to be important, I try to be important. So the answer here is is, because measuring temperature, that is just one action. So for one thing, we have to put is. My one friend is pretty. My many friends are smart, all right? So this is talking about how many numbers, 
or how many subjects there are. B, we measure temperature for blank and cooking. So when you bake something, we use the oven and we bake a cake or some cookies or something like that. And this is a noun, right? It's a noun, it's an action. So is cooking. Cooking is a noun, I mean, sorry. This is a verb, I'm very sorry. This is a verb and cooking is a verb as well. And in this sentence, we must match the verbs. So we have a hint here. It says cooking, right? So these verbs have to match with baking. So I like running and playing, right? So these tenses have to match. If this was cooked, then it will be baked. I baked and cooked, right? So the tenses have to match in the sentence. See, the hotter it is, the blank the pillar goes. Again, we can uh, sort of match the comparative words here. This is saying more hot. If it gets more hot, then it will get more high. So it says hotter. So which one is matching the ER here? Well, it's this one here. ER. Alright, so to review, is and are, we have to pay attention to the front, how many subjects there are. Is it one subject? Then we use is. If it's many subjects, we use are. And again, for these two questions, we have to match the two verbs and we have to match the two comparatives. It's baking, cooking, hotter and higher. All right? So every day when you wake up, you need to pay attention to the temperature because if the temperature is high, you should wear a short sleeve maybe. If the temperature is very low, then you should wear a jacket. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.